it has been 30 days since we have posted anything because we are now in December and there's just not a lot for garden posting right now. Most of what we film is going to have to wait until spring or until we take a trip south because we're in Minnesota and so it's cold here but I wanted to just touch base with you and I thought what I could do is show you some footage from what Marty and I have been doing around our own house and uh, some of the silly things that I guess I've done recently this fall I thought we would get some nice tulip bulbs to plant around the place which I think is gonna be really beautiful this next spring but Marnie informed me that uh, I didn't know what I was doing We are Steve and Marnie. This last summer we were scheduled to take a 10-week sabbatical in the UK and Germany. The challenges of 2020 forced us to find other ways of resting and fighting for joy. Our new endeavor is to find and film the best gardens we can find in the US. I have never personally liked gardening and yet I have found some of my favorite moments in life have been sitting quietly in a garden with my wife. It's great for our relationship and it's good for our sanity. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate you clicking on the YouTube subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell to not miss any upcoming episodes. Hey guys, so today on Garden Steel Away we're going to do something a little bit different. Normally, if you've been watching, we go around and visit gardens, botanical gardens, and we record them for your viewing pleasure, and we want to try and encourage rest and some joy in life. Today, though, what we're going to do is we're at our place. We're going to plant some bulbs because I picked up 275 bulbs the other day. My wife thinks I'm absolutely nuts. Anyway, I got a long-handled manual bulb planter and picked up the Ames planting auger and we're gonna see how these stand up side by side together now if I just had a drill like one in my back pocket so Steve who likes to surprise and wow people has decided that he would pick up some bargains you know, so that he could fill in his newly created garden spaces in the front and really wow people when they go by the house now, the problem is if you come this way you'll see that uh, there's no way these are gonna fit These are the new beds that he created. This hibiscus is going to take up almost this whole space, so that one is going to hardly have any room at all. And we just planted a white peony, which is a smaller one, but still it's going to take up a sizable chunk. And do you think 275 are going to fit in here, honey? Well, I didn't figure 275 would fit right here totally, but I figured we would just load it up so that it was just thick. Oh, well, they're supposed to be pretty much six inches apart, four to six inches Which, apart. That's not something I knew. Yeah, that's not, not going to work. <laughs> so, and the fact that I had already ordered a two-month um, grouping of alliums with various sizes and bloom times that I'm already going to be putting over there, uh, and then we have to plant those. So this is in addition to all of that. So, so we're gonna need to be creative in where we choose to spread these around and enjoy them. Yellow tulips, purple tulips, early purple tulips, later darker purple tulips, white tulips, yellow daffodils, allium, and there's only five here, but I got two, so there's 10 of them there. And then 35 Dutch ivy. Uh, on top of the 25 allium, I already ordered that unit. You know. Right. So, yeah. Yep. Still, you got to remember too, if you don't already know that, I really don't like to garden, <laughs> so it's not my thing. Gardening is not my thing, but I'm really starting to appreciate the beauty of it all. And it will be a while when uh, they come to bloom in the spring. So. So next spring, wait till you see those videos. 
good stuff. We are going to go ahead and put these two to the test, see which one might work better, the long-handled manual ball planter or the auger. Now, we're gonna start off in a softer soil that's been recently worked, so it will be a little different. Now, my uneducated guess is that, uh, that this one, the dirt will just fall right out of, but I guess we'll see what happens here. So I'll just plug that where we want it. I guess I probably need to get rid of that. Okay. Do I turn it a little bit while I do this? Not like so. And pull up. So there we go. That's a nice little hole. Okay. And then I'm going to try drilling the hole here. Okay. That didn't quite work as well, did it? That's, I can make a little mess. That'd be good for stirring paint, maybe. I don't know, at this point, they're both about the same price, new. I did get this one on clearance for $4.88, actually. This was $14.99 for the auger. We'll come back in a little bit, and after we plant these, and we'll try it with a, a, a firmer soil as well. It's been a few hours since we checked in with you. We planted those uh, beds up front, and now we're gonna try it in some of the harder ground. So we've got some ground back here. It's going in easier than I expected it to, actually. Oh, and that looks good, actually. Looks really good. To just do that, and I don't think so. Am I doing this wrong? Because it, I mean, it, it does dig a hole, but I, I guess, in all honesty, I think I'm more impressed with the way this works. Yeah, well, that actually, that didn't do too bad that time. My battery's starting to wear down though. I'd probably want to use. An extension cord. I did go ahead and pull out the big drill with an extension cord and plugged it in and what happened was I was I was drilling like this and all of a sudden I hit something hard and the drill spun like this really fast the cord kind of came around actually kind of came around and it held the trigger down and it kept spinning and it wound this all up until it was all tight. It whacked me in the leg, gave me a bruise. It whacked me in the arm, gave me a bruise. The way it finally stopped was the metal of the chuck wore through the cord, breaking it. The wires touched this and it blew a fuse. I never got it on video. I wish you could have seen it. There's times when I look really, really stupid. I don't know guys, that works pretty slick. I don't know, kinda just like this. Unintelligent, uneducated, non-gardening impression. Yeah, I suppose in really hard ground, in really hard ground that works pretty decent. planting a new bed you want to consider your bigger plants first and so we need to figure out what big plants we want to be kind of the features of those small garden spots and then we can figure out the, the bulbs will fit around those spaces. So as many gardeners as there are you could design a bed to, to be that many ways and, uh, and that's kind of what's really fun about traveling and seeing people's gardens is, is the creativity and the thoughtfulness that they put into it. Steve is excited about alliums and one thing I'm realizing about planting things where you have different bloom times, put an allium with, this is a lamb's ear. So you've got lamb's ear that is gonna 
get bigger over the season and the allium blooms fairly early and then it's going to die back and then instead of having a gaping hole where you had your bulbs you have foliage all the way around and you maybe after the foliage dies back you don't even know that it was there but it also looks really pretty the purple above the silver but ladies mantle is one of those plants that they say goes really well with allium they get really beautiful chartreuse green in the spring and uh, they get these beautiful little flowers that poke up so I want to move this into more sun because it really definitely needs more sun than it gets and move up some uh, lambs here and that'll go really well I think with some of the purples yeah. that'll be poking out. So. I think so. Maybe if you could bring up some sand they do better. Actually, if you bring a, a bucket of sand that we can mix in each corner. And hopefully we'll get to some more gardens real soon and we'll be able to take you along with us. So don't lose hope. We're going to come back with more garden tours. Merry Christmas.